our church, and any church, is always one generation away from spiritual bankruptcy and going out of business, right? And parents, I have to speak to you about this. You're happy you're here this morning because I'm going to say this and you're going to think it pertains to someone else. This is your job with your children. Sometimes I wonder if parents are more interested in their social and career ambitions for their children than they are in their spiritual formation. You are responsible not for the outcome of what happens to your child, but for the process for passing on the faith, telling them the good news, and giving them a heart for God. When you fail to pray with them or talk to them about the faith, model faithfulness to them at home and in your partnership with the church, you're playing with fire. When you tell your kids, no, we're not staying for worship today, come on. What are you telling them about what is important? You are telling them maybe that being with their friends in Sunday school, studying the Bible, having that time, which is all good, is all that really matters. I mean, worship is hard work, let's be honest. This is about offering ourselves to God. It's not about us. It's not about how we feel. It's about giving thanks to God, about exalting God's mighty works in our life and in the world. And that means getting outside of yourself. That's spiritual formation. And this is not about me. I wish this room were full every single time we came, but believe me, my ego, and you know this, is big enough to handle it when it's not. This is about keeping our hearts and minds fixed on who God is by that encounter week by week 